Ah, tis the season to smell forest fires burn. You'd almost think this is an apocalyptic movie that we're all in, right? I mean, Hollywood is really doing a good job. I mean, you can even smell it, you know? I mean, have you ever been to those IMAX theaters? You know, they have, like, you know, like wind blowing and, you know, the temperature will drop, like, 20 degrees or something or 60 degrees, like, in minutes. It's uh, pretty crazy what's going on, you know? But this is real. This is real. And this is the apocalypse. Hollywood couldn't really even do any better of a job. You know, we've got... Well, look right here. We've got an old truck that runs on waste motor oil. Yeah, waste from society becomes the fuel for the fuel for the truck. The old vegetable oil. What well, used to cook your french fries runs this truck. And got the Vanaconda and the Bronco over there. So these are the uh, tools of the Mad Monk in the apocalyptic uh, or at the apocalyptic ostrom, Hawkshaven. And what we do with this stuff is we show people another way that makes it to where you don't really have to uh, pay so much to exist. You know, because humans are the only, only species on the planet that give a whole bunch of money every month to somebody somewhere else so they can have shelter. And so they can have food. And so they can have access to clean water. But why is that? Why, why, why is the human being the only species on the planet paying to exist? And the answer, from what I've gathered, is dependency. And when we're dependent on somebody somewhere else, well, you're going to have to pay them. Because that's like a manager, right? And I don't need a manager. I, I, I do just fine just being me. Um, and I work voluntarily with other people who are just being them and it works out pretty good. And so in the water, okay, so why, why does, why does fresh water cost more than gasoline, right? I mean, you go buy, um, a, you know, four of those, uh, bottled waters in the, in the convenience store and it's, it's, well, I don't know about gasoline anymore. It's, it's probably pretty close. It used to be that water was more expensive, but I guess petrol, petroleum is uh, caught up on it a little bit. Food, food. Why are we getting it at the gross restore for a fee instead of just growing it at the source for free? You know, because if, if you've got soil and you've got uh, fertilizer, which people are flushing that away every day, um, or they're, they're, Putting it in the um, their dumpster, or they're putting it in their trash cans, and they're sending it to the dump. But there's ways that we can be using these resources right where we're at to create healthy soil that we can grow our own food, and then and then we grow our food at the source for free, rather than grabbing it from the gross restore for a fee. You know, and phonetically that sounds pretty similar, but in the event that, um, but let's, let's just say that the, the, the fires over there, right? The fires over there are causing deforestation and it's burning up all of the ground cover that's on the ground. And that's because the, the landscape is dehydrated, right? A lot of landscapes are dehydrated. But we can be doing things instead of just putting up a sign saying, hey, watch out for flash floods. <laughs> we, can, we can actually put in features that, um, that stop flash flooding from happening, right? The beaver tries to do it, but then we go blow up his dam and cuss him out, you know? Stupid, dumbass beaver. <laughs> We've got, God, don't he know we got a road going through right here? Well, but the beaver's 
saying, hey, there's water that's running away and it needs to be kept to the land so that way we can promote health and happiness and, and abundant landscape for everybody. And they're like, shut up. You know, they blow up the stuff and they leave. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so a healthy hydrated landscape doesn't catch on fire. But when it does catch on fire, like what's happening over there, it uh, it makes it to where the the water that hits the land erodes off of it, picks up all the silt, carries it into the, the stream beds and the rivers, and it's all preventable. So. Anyway, if you like what I got going on, like, share, and subscribe. Right over, I'm going to try to do this. Like, okay, right over here you can subscribe. And right down here you can watch a little video about how we're, um, our landscapes are being mismanaged.